Hello everybody, 10th of July 2015, Dan here from Essex United Kingdom on a lovely sunny day. Now as you know I'm growing some watermelons in some containers and um, what I need to do now is to find a way to trail them up some sort of trellis. Now I've got some growing in some pots, okay, so I'll show you what we've got here. Now this here, watermelon, black panther. Now you may remember a few weeks ago I showed a video how I were how I set them. Now of course they're starting to produce small watermelons like this and some flowers as well so of course now is the time I need to start to train them. Now because of course uh, I can't let them sprawl all over the floor of the polytunnel because there simply is not the room so I'm going to make them grow up in the air like this. So what I intend to do is build sort of a framework out of this garden mesh. Now the one that I'm using I'm not recommending any particular brand really. I mean garden mesh is garden mesh isn't it? It's plastic. You could use something else of similar sort of stuff if you wanted. So this is just Apollo garden mesh climbing plant support five meters by one meters and it's the color of wood tan if that matters to anyone. So um, what I intend to do is to create a framework for them to climb up. So for this you will need your garden mesh or similar sort of material. You'll need some wire cutters or secateurs or whatever you want to use to cut the plastic and you will need a tape measure and of course you will need your pot and your plant that is growing in it. So what I intend to do is to measure around this pot the circumference with my tape. So let's do that. Okay so it's approximately 118 centimeters around. Now uh, I don't need to be 100% precise with this because I want a little bit of overlap. So now I'm going to measure 118 centimeters along the bottom of my garden mesh. Okay so what I've done is I've stretched the uh, garden mesh along like this of course because it's been coiled up in a round fashion for a while. I've had to use bricks to uh, block paving just to keep it sort of straight, stop it curling up whilst I'm trying to cut it. So here we go. So 118 centimetres, which you can see is there, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it, sort of average it out around here at about 122 centimetres. So I'm now going to cut that with my wire cutters. Okay, so there we go. This is approximately 120 centimetres when spread out. So what I'm going to do now is put it in my pot around my plant, around the edges of the pot. So I'll do that and then uh, we'll have a look. Okay, here we go. Now you can see that I've placed it around the outside of the pot and just to keep it in situ, to stop it sort of flapping around, I've tied it at... Uh, necessary points with some garden twine. This is generally rather cheap, generally a bit cheaper than string. You can pick this up on the internet or uh, garden centres, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is, because this is obviously a bit, a bit high here and a bit cumbersome, I'm going to cut it approximately in the middle and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here we go. Here's the finished article. Now you can see that I've cut the top there approximately in in half, so that should be around probably just over half a metre tall, give or take. I reckon maybe two thirds of a metre, something like that. 75 centimetres high. And what I've done is I have coiled the as much as possible the plant around the support. Now I've also cut some holes in, you can see here, using secateurs so that uh, the leaves can grow out so as not to damage them. Now obviously the best way to do this would be to, uh, before the plant gets this size, the best thing to do would be to have the support in, maybe buried a little bit within the uh, growing medium, that way you wouldn't have to worry too much about this sort of thing, and ideally maybe try and get some garden mesh with bigger holes in but uh, use this because I happen to have a load of this and I'm not uh, certainly not going out and buying anything especially for this because watermelon crops in the UK are not guaranteed and uh, 
this is merely an experiment on my part so I hope this has been of some service to people and uh, if there's any questions on this feel free to uh, ask speak soon and take care